Hi everyone, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info, and today we've got another bat from Hope. He sent us the lever signature we saw late last year, and this time we've got a Helfer lever. We haven't had these for ages. I really like Helfer lever. Um, Matt Barton out there makes really nice bats. This is a pro grade. Hopefully that's all zoomed in for you. Some nice looking grains there. All knocked in by Hilfer Lever. And we're gonna have a good look at it straight after this. So this bat comes from Hope. He also sent us in the Laver Legend, which I hope you go and look at that video. I'll link that up here so you can go and have a look at that one. So this Hilfer Lever is a pro grade. So that's their top. It cost him $850 with shipping, and I think it was on special. How did you hear about the bat maker? Well, he tried a few of their bats in the past. Uh, he got an online special bat which definitely shipped with adequate protection. There's definitely no uh, damage to the bat whatsoever. Matt Burton's own full shape profile, 211 without stickers. So we're, we're looking at a heavyweight here. Hope describes himself as a park cricketer. He's from Wollongong, so thank you very much, Hope. If you don't realise, most of the, the bats on this channel come from viewers themselves the subscribers send the bats over to me at their own cost pay the return leg i film the bat for nothing and uh, i give my honest opinion on the bat in front of me now i have had hell for lever before i've got a nice uh, playlist on that and we've seen some absolute monsters from them in the past so let's have a good look at this bat here they've changed their stickers the tn26 stickers you can see now uh, that's them there Obviously shifting to the new camera and you can see there some, some nice, lovely, straight, fairly even grains, all lovely sapwood. There's a tiny little hint of something going on down here, little tiny pin knot there. And yeah, she's a lovely looking bat. You can see a pin knot going through here. Generally the uh, stamp denotes the middle. So Matt's saying this is pretty much a mid bat suit all styles of players and that looks like a really thick edge we'll have a look at that there's no duck billing or anything like that and shapes down to the handle fairly thick shoulders obviously the same thicker the handle itself I would describe as semi oval to round that's their own hell for lever grip there Let's have a look under that binding while we've got that there. Okay, you can see there we've got three dark rubber inserts, short handle, and that binding glued down and glued on top of that, which I really like to see. So quality bat maker. Uh, we can see here the, it's the only problem with these damn tapes is they come loose. Anyway, that's nothing. Health Lever stickers have always been uh, the top as far as um, detailing and texturing. And these stickers are no different. We've got here white with some texturing down here. Embossing over the Health Lever. And then you can see the imprint of the devil there. Just sort of reflecting through in my light shot. And that's a little helper lever. TN26. I'm not sure what that means. He's got here written mid profile, so I was right. I mean, 300 and something videos, I must be right once in a while. And this helper lever is all gold with a nice little effect going on there. Really stunning looking willow on the back. No dents or anything like that. And once again on the front, handmade in Kent. So Kent is also where Salix is around, that area there. And this is all embossed, textured. You can see the little devils there as well. Really, really stunning. Let me know if you think the new camera is really showing more detail. This is filming in 4K now. Um, it's not new, it's second hand. Anyway, I got a good uh, 
deal for a second-hand camera. The battery catch came straight off of it. Nice profile. Look at that. And you can see with the edges, he's left a lot of wood down here, so it should have some, some action all through this um, profile. So pro-grade, you can tell immediately there's no narrowing rubbish going on, and it's not going to go through the gauge. So this is typical uh, Matt style bat. He's not too worried about the regulations for park cricket. He'll give you a bat um, that's going to go absolutely nuts. That's also um, to do with the fact that this is a flat face profile bat. If I hold it that way, maybe we can get that to focus. Yeah. So mostly flat. flat. Yeah, having trouble focusing that. I don't know if I can get that to focus any better. It just looks lovely looking down that bat that way. It's not hunting too much. Um, and there's that full profile. So one of the reasons that you're getting that sort of uh, blurry effect is because this is filming in a very low aperture. Um, which allows that blurry detail. So if I hold it up to the other one, filming above, you won't get that because of the smaller sensor. You can see just how full that is there. So we'll measure the details of the bat with the shoulder. And I'm getting 15.6 here at the top of the splice. 37.1 the edge 44 45 mil edge it's big down here at the toe 24.6 and center of the toe 27.9 that's better 24.4 let's measure the Spine, and we use the big calipers for that. That looks like the top there. Yeah, sixty-nine point five. She's a big bat. And whilst I've got it out, we'll do the. Uh, you can see that zeroed. We'll do the width. Remember, it does have the edge tape and scuff on. So, what is it? 108.7. So, probably 106.7 uh, before all that stuff went on. Let's see what it feels like in my hands. So, I'm taking my regular batting stance. You can't see that. I mean, for all you know, I'm drinking a beer or something like that. So, I'm pretending I can bat like usual when I go out in the middle. And she's a heavy uh, beast. Feels like mid to Heavy. The actual middle position is definitely mid, but it's got a nice pickup. Definitely feels like a, a bat that you're going to make a lot of runs. Real 2020 sort of bat. Um, it's nicely balanced, really nicely balanced. Exactly what that weighs. 211.6. So 211 naked, only 0.6. It's probably lost a little bit um, freight and whatever. I, I think you find with bats that come from the UK, uh, atmospheric moisture and that they'll probably lose up to an ounce uh, when they actually get to Australia so the only thing we need to do now is uh, hit it with a mallet and uh, find out the inevitable so the motto for hell for leather is roots to runs if you don't know what that means they've actually planted their own trees which they also sell clefts to other companies uh, but there's a few over there that actually grow their own willow and uh, make their own bats including obviously Grey Nichols who own the whole process from start to finish. Starting at the toe. So it's going from mid-high, high really, going nuts mid. Still plenty there mid-low. 
because those edges extend down a little bit. Yeah, it goes everywhere. And it has got that harder feel because it has been knocked. So what a lovely bat. He's paid for this bat 850 uh, Australian dollars delivered. So why are we going so crazy about player editions when small bat makers with outstanding skills can make you a bat far cheaper that's going to perform as good as anything those international players have got in their hands and you're going to save money i don't understand this i know that a lot of the people who follow the channel really love to see those player editions see what the players are holding try and help you realize that if you want value forget about that sort of stuff and talk to a bat maker you can buy custom bats from Grey Nichols, but talk to them and say exactly what you need. And don't say things like, I want a 50 mil edge and I want it 2.8 and I want it full and I want it to be low density willow. All this stuff is absolute rubbish. What you need in your hands is something reliable that when you hit the ball, it's gonna make runs for you and it's not gonna disintegrate because it's been well prepared. And what you're getting here with this bat is something I think that's just outstanding value and really good quality and it's going to go like an absolute cruise missile. Probably a really bad timing to be saying that. Don't waste your money guys. The brands at the moment, they are just sucking you in with standard bats that are 100 and we saw that Warner one, 99 millimeters wide on the back and they want $1,200 for it. You could buy a whole kit and have this in your bag and you'd be making tons more runs than you would with that bat. Or you could save that money and go to the pub. Or you could save that money and go and get some coaching and actually put those bats to good work. That's my honesty. It's a really, really nice bat and I thank Hope for sending it over. So this has been Cricket Bat Info. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. I'd love to read your comments on the video. Uh, always remember to check out the descriptions on the YouTube videos because I put a little bit more detail in there as I'm editing uh, and remembering things and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.